waking up this morning, but he woke your children up this morning. That's a mighty act from God. When you could have had a stroke late in the midnight hour, but God protected you. That's a mighty act from God. I hope you're getting it right now. The fact that you were able to walk in here this Sunday morning is a mighty act from God. He did not have to do it, but I'm so glad he did. That's a mighty act. So if God done a mighty act for you, I say this to my church. If you can testify about the greatness of God, and you come to church talking about the greatness of God, if you woke up this morning, took a shower, and you put on your smell good, and you put on your best outfit, why would you come to church when the choir is singing, sitting in the pew like God haven't done anything for you? If you can testify, it's still a mighty act for God. A mighty act for God. I remember years ago, when I was a teenager, struggling, going through it. And I sat in my room, Ms. Harris, and I contemplated committing suicide. I'm so serious. Had a 9mm Smith & Wesson 906. And I sat in my room, and I sat at the edge of the bed. I said, I'm going to pull this trigger. I heard in the midst of me, having that 9 millimeter gun in my hand. I know the plans. I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you. And God wants you to know this morning, he has plans to prosper you. He has plans for you. And, I, and, and ever since then, I don't care what church I go to, yeah. I have an undignified prayer. Yeah. And what is an undignified praise? I'm talking about praise when the choir is singing this person, and I'm up there at him, and I'm looking, and snot rolling down my nose, and tears rolling down my eyes, and I'm looking up here in the middle of you saying how good God is. That's an undignified prayer. Because you can't tell it like I can. What the Lord has done for me. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you come to church for. Because your praise is a testimony to somebody sitting in here that feel like they can't make it. When you pray for in the midst of your problem, it testifies to that person. You can make it because I did too. Why do we praise God? Because he acted mightily on my behalf. I got to say this. Cancer has been running rapidly. In this church and other places I know. But I come and declare and decree to cancer that you are defeated. You are defeated. Because I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over all that's going through cancer. Now that's the type of preacher I am. I don't play games when it comes to the Holy Spirit. And some of our people, some of our people lose hope because we're afraid to declare and decree a thing. The Bible says in the Old Testament, if you declare a thing, it shall be established for your sake. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over cancer. Because when Jesus went down, went up on that cross, he went up on the cross not just to save us, but he is a hero. He is the bomb in Gideon. And because I believe that, we shall live and not die. We shall be above and not beneath. We shall be the lender and not the borrower. I believe that in the name of Jesus. So we praise him for his mighty acts. What do we praise God with? <laughs> what do we praise Him with? A couple of months, or a couple of weeks ago, or last month, I sat right there and I was 
looking at how God in his creative power create things for his benefit and for ours. And we were having service here. And I was sitting there and I was watching the lady who knows ASL, I believe that's what they call it. She was signing. And while she was signing, she was doing sign language. The gentleman in the front row here, she was doing this. And he came here to music. He can't hear us say, Hosanna, blessed be the rock. He can't hear us say that. But while, we, while Bishop is speaking, and while the, the music choir is singing, and she's like this, and the man is like, What if we praise God with it? In the midst of him not being able to hear, he praised him with his head. That, was, that, that, that came out years ago, if I can't say a word, I'll just wait for my hands. What do we praise God with? I dare, we lift them, Shabbat. We Shabbat. We lift our voice. Hallelujah! That's what we praise God with. Glory! He's awesome! What do we praise Him with? Get on the piano and praise Him with the keys, praise them with the drums, praise them with the bass. Because if you don't praise him now, you are going to have a hard time when you get the glory. Because the Bible already tells you that the elders are already saying, holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. So if you think you're that dignified, you might want to change your mailing address. Because when we all get the Lord, what a day of rejoicing it'll be. Now I hear people say, when I get the glory, I want to see my mother. No, baby, when I get the glory, I want to see Jesus. Because he's doing that good for me. He's doing that good. He's better than Campbell's soup. Mm -mm, he's been that good to me. And I can't tell it all. What do we praise him with? The stomping of our feet. Yeah. Back in the south in the old days, they didn't have a piano. They had a tambourine in their hand. Yeah. And the Bible talks about Mary, that she took a tambourine and began to praise God with the tambourine. Some folks get it with the stomping on their feet. You got to learn how to praise him, Jones. Because guess what? I decided this. I don't work seven days a week. Or not seven days a week. Five days a week. <laughs> and then when Sunday comes, I don't get up early in the morning like I'm going to work to come down here and sit on this pew yeah. and act like God haven't done anything. Yeah. Yeah. Come on in. Our praise should be just that. As some of us, God has delivered from going to the club. Miss Bird, I remember my club days. <laughs> I remember my club days, y'all. Uh, you know, when I knew I was going to the club, and we all were going to meet up at 10 o'clock. I would take a shower at 9 o'clock. But when I get ready for the club, Bishop Hall, it starts early. <laughs> y'all sit down, y'all act like y'all never got to When I knew I was going to the club, Miss Carson, I already laid that iron board out and in fact him, you know, because I know I'm walking with a group of friends, I go ahead and hit them all to buy me a new outfit. And I re iron my clothes to get ready for the club. And while I'm getting ready for the club, I'm going somewhere. While I'm getting ready for the club, Bishop, I had back then my ring mark. And in my box, I have my clothes laid out 
on the iron board. And when the, when the fall ready on, R. Kelly is, is playing this music. Just like you getting ready for the club.
Praise Him when you're healed. Yeah. Praise Him when 